If I had to choose, I will probably go for... Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is April. If this is your first time here, I am a skincare and cosmetic chemist. I talk about all things skincare, back end and front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe to this channel because we're here and we talk about skincare a lot. <laughs> Today's video, as you guys can tell from the title, is about Pixi Blue Tonic Toner. A lot of you guys messaged me on my community page when I mentioned what kind of video you guys would like to see from me. A lot of you guys said you guys wanted to hear about the Pixi Glue Tonic Toner. In today's video, I've figured I'd do a twist to it and compare it to the ordinary glycolic toner as well. So yeah, that's what this video is about. If you're interested in that, let's get into it. So I'm going to start with the Pixi Glue Tonic and I'm going to talk about the ordinary Pixi Glue Tonic Toner. This one is $29. It's it's not too expensive, but it's not also affordable compared to the ordinary, which comes in at $8.70, $8.70. So that's more of a, I can spend that money and go to sleep at night, even if it doesn't work, right? That's more our forte on this channel. I'm all about affordable beauty that works. Anyway, price out of the way, I'm going to talk about the percentage. So Pixel Glutonic Glycolic Acid Toner comes in at 5% glycolic acid and the ordinary comes in at 7% glycolic acid. Glycolic acid is perfectly safe and works between 5 to 10% at home, just as long as the pH is closer to 3.5 or maybe even lower. If it starts going towards 4, then it's not gonna work on you, okay? The pH is actually more important than the percentage in this situation because they both are at pretty good percentages that will work. So I just looked through my notes and I don't have the pH levels of either of these products, but I will insert on the screen here and you guys will tell from what I already told you guys about pH, which one's better product. Moving on to the ingredients in these products. So obviously they both contain glycolic acid, glycolic acid toner. So starting with the Pixi Glow Tonic, they highlighted some of the ingredients in this product. They highlighted the ginseng, which is great for energy levels. Sometimes I take drinks that have ginseng in it just to boost my energy levels before my workouts. Glycolic acid, of course, we know is an exfoliator in this situation. Aloe vera hydrates. Looking through the ingredients, I will point out that this product contains witch hazel. And witch hazel, like I talked about in my video where I reacted to LA Beautyology's video on witch hazel, I said witch hazel. It's fine if you have oily skin, but if you have dry skin, just be wary of it because it could be more drying, especially when it has alcohol also in the formula. So this product does have witch hazel. Witch Hazel is an amazing product because it has that estrogen property as well as other great properties that is really great for the skin. Another thing I noticed with this product is that it does have fragrance. So if you are anti-fragrance, this product might not be the one for you. It also has urea, horse chestnuts, and a whole host of other ingredients in here that are great for the skin. Now moving on to the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. This one does not have any fragrance, so all my fragrance haters <laughs> This one's for you. Has no fragrance in it. It also has no witch hazel. So if you are not a witch hazel lover, you are in luck because this one has no witch hazel. So this one just has straight up a lot of proteins, like a lot, a shit lot of proteins in it. Proteins, while it could be good for collagen levels, there's been studies that have said that if you already get enough protein from your diet, adding a collagen or protein uh, ingredients from a skincare product is not necessarily gonna change or add anything to your skin. So just know that and know that just because this product has a bunch of proteins doesn't mean that it's gonna strengthen your collagen levels or make your skin automatically look better or more elastic because it has collagen in it. It's just something to know. Another thing that this product has is a lot of humectants so products that pull water from the atmosphere and hold the water to your skin to make it appear a lot supple and uh, less dry. One last thing, this product does not have phenoxyethanol. Phenoxyethanol is a preservative. If you get irritation from phenoxyethanol, this might be a better product for you than the Pixi Glue Tonic. That one does have phenoxyethanol as its preservative. Now the directions we've used, the one from Pixi says that you can use their product in the morning or in the night time. And this one says ideally it's better to use their product at night time. I personally prefer to use my AHAs uh, in the morning and then I put sunscreen on top of it for sure. Don't forget to put sunscreen because AHAs sensitize your skin to uh, the sun. So don't forget sunscreen because if you don't put sunscreen, it makes your skin a lot more sensitive and can lead to hyperpigmentation, sun damage, and all those other things that we don't like on our skin. That being said, I don't really have a preference for either product, but if I were to choose, like if I had to choose, I would probably go for ordinary. For a couple reasons, for price points, number one, all it's important, and also because it has no fragrance, although I don't mind fragrance in my products, but just it's just one less product to deal with fragrance, right? So um, yeah, I would 
probably choose it for that reason. And yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know which product you prefer, which one have you used, which product works better for you if you've tried them. If you have any more suggestions on any comparison videos you'd like to see, definitely leave it in the comments below and I will check it out. Check out my other videos. I've also done a video where I compare the Ordinary, the Inky List, and Naturium. So definitely check that video out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.